the last bad movie I've seen was a movie called Spotlight. It won an Oscar. And that's an interesting point that you make because it's to do with uh, pedophilia in priesthood. Yeah. And uh, have you heard about this movie? I, I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, um, and it is, it, it's like all the president's men. Um, almost exactly like all the presidents, man. If you remove the great cinematography, get rid of the solid acting, get rid of any well-written scenes, and then yeah. basically it's the same movie. Um, so, uh, in in the scene, they they just have scenes basically just to say rape is bad, and there's no character building. The most interesting part about it is that with the Michael Keaton character, he was so incompetent as a journalist that. This story came to him years before, and everyone, you know, it, it, when you grew up as a boy, everyone knew this was going on. So it, it's been going on for decades and centuries, actually. Mm. But uh, he was incompetent and he missed the story before. And that would have been a much more interesting angle to go about than this this black and white crap that they do, which is not showing any humanity on the villain side, which is not showing any humanity on the journalist side because they're all a bunch of caricatures. Well, yeah, this is why 10 years ago, Brokeback Mountain and Crash were up for best film. Both terrible films. Brokeback Mountain... No one is going to remember this movie a year after it won Best Picture. Yeah, well, I, I haven't seen that, but if you look at something like Brokeback Mountain, if you ever read the short story, it's a terrible short story. But Brokeback Mountain, well, let's see. Uh, both of these guys are despicable human beings. They're liars. They're cheats. They uh, have no sense of responsibility even on their job. But we're supposed to for forget that these are terrible people just because they like to give cock up each other's ass. Just but you know, the, the 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 overriding message of that movie is that it's okay to be a homosexual uh, because homosexuality isn't itself bad. But that somehow excuses all of the other negative qualities of these characters and the, the torments they put the other characters in the film through. Yeah, Crash. Try that angle with, say, a, a Hitler biography or something. Just have Hitler yeah. enjoy cock and then yeah. absorb yeah. him. Well, well Cra yeah, Cra and Crash him. was just as bad. All that was was a, a bunch of things that said racism is bad and whatnot. But the characters were, were, were just total cliches. You know, the... Obviously, the mafia, the American mafia, or any organized crime groups are bad. These people are as bad as terrorists. These people are as bad as, as the SS in their own way. They've lasted a lot longer than a lot of these groups, too. The, you know, organized crime goes back, you know, a, a thousand years. And, and probably even before that, there were probably mafia-like groups in Egypt building the pyramids. Um, and, and so to say that this is bad... Is, is superfluous. I, obviously, this is bad. The The point of the Vincetti brothers isn't to say that organized crime is bad or that poverty creates uh, a bad people or this or that. It's to give specific instances that say, well, how, you know, it's set in the 1970s in a, a mafia infested neighborhood, but it's not about the mafia, just like Moby Dick isn't about whaling. Yes, we're going to see mobsters. Yes, we're going to see Gino ascend the, the lower ranks. Uh, to get onto a, a crew. Uh, we're going to see, you know, drug addiction is bad. Yeah, sure, but that's not the reason that Aldo exists as a character. Um, Aldo, I mean, comes out of a real person I knew, but Aldo also serves a purpose as to, to why are some people weak? Why do, why, do, why do the three main brothers, Aldo, Gino, and Dino, who come from the exact same uh, sources, uh, uh, unless uh, Angela got boned and... and one of them has a, another father, but presumably they're, they're, they have all the same essential ingredients, and yet they are fundamentally different. Even as generally, none of these guys are going to do anything with their lives. You know, one guy ends up dead because of violence, another one because of his weakness and drug use, and the third one is basically going to end up, you know, as an old man sitting around in Bermuda shorts in 2040, you know, farting as he watches the Super Bowl.